Fishnets forgotten or discarded by poachers are often called ghosts as they are deadly traps for all sea creatures and birds. Moreover, these nets accumulate various types of plastic rubbish that can be found in the ocean waters. Baby turtles often get stuck in such contrivances. Even if they manage to escape, remnants of the net or other trash gradually deform the shell and inner organs of little turtles. Albatrosses mistakenly take plastic bags and different minor trash as food and feed on it their nestlings, which die soon due to it. Small crustaceans frequently confuse bottle caps with their protective shells. It is all very disheartening. And cleaning up seawaters is not as easy as it may seem. The majority of serious ecological issues of mankind have occurred in the last 50 years. The problem of contaminating the planet with plastic is especially urgent. 320 million tons of plastic are annually produced for the needs of 8 billion people, and the substantial part of this production goes to the oceans. Ocean currents create whirlpools which attract rubbish from the whole ocean and form garbage patches and garbage islands, in which trash is allocated from the water surface right to the bottom. Five islands of this kind have been officially traced with two of them in the Pacific Ocean. The most famous is the Great Pacific Garbage Patch that is located between the states of Hawaii and California. People can just get around such garbage patches traveling by liners, while for sea creatures it is a direct threat to their existence. The stem of parasitic plant cascada after its appearing actively begins growing in search of prey. Being thin and climbing it grows up to 7 cm per day. Cascada wraps like a snake, inserts itself into the stem, releases suckers and starts absorbing all the nutrients from the host plant. Looks like a killing kiss of a vampire. This plant is characterized by an almost unlimited growing process, thus it can destroy fields of wheat and corn in a short period of time. Moreover, cascada is dangerous for livestock, since it contains substances that cause serious poisoning and plague. Only one singular plant without leaves and roots actively blossoms and multiplies producing up to 20,000 seeds annually, which will be waiting for their time in soil for up to six years. This is an extremely serious challenge for agrarians and farmers.